Okay, so how do these properties that I've talked about, um, the commutative, associative, and distributive properties, what do they have to do with our algebraic expressions, and how in the world can they help us simplify them? Well, algebraic expressions <coughs> are just numbers. These x's here just to represent numbers. So they have to follow, these numbers have to follow these properties that we talked about. So what we're going to do is use these properties to make our algebraic expressions a little bit simpler and nicer to work with. Um, so I've got an example here, 3x plus 5x, and I want to make it a little, little bit nicer. So there's a couple ways you can think about this. Um, if we're using these properties, <coughs> um, we've got multiplication and addition together. So I'm looking at this distributive property, um, and I see I've got an x in both of these. So according to that distributive property, this is the same thing as 3 plus 5 times x. Okay, so it follows that same, same rule, which now is 8, 8 x. So I've got 8 x's. So the, other, the shortcut to think about this is I've got three x's, I've got five more x's. How many x's do I have total? Well, I have eight x's. So this has a, has a fancy name. This is called combining like terms. Um, <clears throat> and so what they mean is, right, we're combining. Combining means to put together. And like means they are the same, but they aren't the same. Um, the number part's different, but the variable part's the same. Uh, so that's what they mean by like. The like is the variable part. And the reason why they need to be like is because in order to use that distributive property that we talked about, the variable part has to be the same so that when we rewrite it, we only have the number parts in the parentheses and we can add them together. So that's, why that, that's what it means to be like terms. The like terms, the numbers can be different, but the variable part, everything about it has to be the same. Um, so, uh, another example, we could have something a little bit more complicated, like 5x plus 7 plus 9x minus 3. So, just another example, uh, and we want to, again, we can see we, we've got some like terms in here, but we're going to have, but they're not next to each other. So, up here, they were right next to each other, here not next to each other. So it actually doesn't matter, um, and that's because of our um, commutative and associative property, right? We've got all additions in here, which means we can add these guys in whatever order we want. So we can rewrite this. It still means the same thing. It's just in a different order, right? We'd st we sh if these were all numbers, we sh according to these properties, we should still get the same answer. So this guy is the same as this guy. We've just written in a little bit, a way that's a little, uh, allows us to do what we want to do. So now we can combine our like terms, right? We got the 5x plus the 9x gives me my 14x, and then plus 7 minus 3, or you could think of this as 7 plus negative 3, same thing, I would get plus 4. And so we took this really kind of messy expression and we rewrote it as 14x plus 4. Nice and neat.